All right, Capricorn, this is for you. This is a channeled ancestor message for you. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. North Node is your karmic mission and purpose on this planet. So I felt the need to allow the ancestors to chime in on that too. So this can be about relationships, can be about, can be about anything. All right, so let's see what's going on for you. This is for May 2023. If you're looking for the regular uh, May readings that are the straight monthly readings, here is a link to that playlist. Okay. All right. So cleansing waters underneath. Purification activates a vibrant life force. Trust that there's a divine plan. Yeah. And believe in magic. So there's, there's something here about like getting rid of cynicism, getting rid of Oh, sure. You know, Eeyore, nothing's going to happen for me. I can't believe in anything. I can't, I can't count on the universe to have my back. I don't feel like I'm, like I'm really being helped all that much. And I just feel a little bit like the universe is, is trying to say to you, listen, you just really are pulling too much weight here. You've got to, you've got to stop what you're doing so that we can step in. <clears throat> okay. So there's some kind of message around that. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. Okay, so underneath is the Seven of Cups. Getting the Ace of Cups. I'm getting the Star card, beautiful energy. The Sun card, the Temperance card. Wow, so Four of Wands showing up here. My goodness. Um, I just feel like any kind of sense of nothing's moving forward is going to be done or is going to be eliminated um this month okay the ace of cups the seven of cups is sort of like i'm not really sure which direction to go in and that's typically not a capricorn issue i see sag i see leo i see aquarius you could be helping a lot of people um or or um trying to trying to help a lot of people and that's kind of depleting your energy so you're really needing to um kind of get yourself back into fighting shape here a little bit a little too much focus on other people's needs right now it's time to focus on your own so the moon sorry the moon and the page of wands two of swords knight of swords nine of pentacles five of wands and the outcome is the eight of wands like things are going to get easier very soon if you've had a tough go in this year or um this past month in April, March, April, something like that. Um, this month is going to be easier. And I almost feel like sometimes you don't trust easy. When things are easy, you kind of don't trust them. But it does. Um, I do want to do something here because I saw this. And it feels like the the thing that's missing is really not trusting the universe, but trusting yourself, trusting your own intuition, trusting that you know the next step to take, trusting that you, when things, <clears throat> when things are going a little tough, that you know just to like back off of them or let things move on their own. I just get this feeling about like there's been a lot of work here. Now, this can be about relationship. This can be about a relationship that needs a lot of healing um that used to be happy there was children involved there was definitely family involved here and i just feel like now there might be a sense of like i don't know what the next step is it's almost like the empty nest syndrome or there's a um a real void happening and so like you literally have to decide you have to make a choice to go in a direction and I just feel like you're not doing that right now. I feel like this moon card is sort of like, it's not that you don't want to feel, it's that you don't want to feel disappointment from other people, or you don't want to have anything happen that is going to come down on your head like a disappointment, because that is totally not where you are. I, I feel like you've done, I feel like you've been invaluable um, to this connection. I feel like it's been a good connection. It's just changing the channel. It's just kind of like making a shift from one type of relationship into another. So some of you may be having a longtime friend that is a romantic interest now. Some of you may be 
retired and your kids are gone and you're like, okay, we're, we have a different kind of experience on our hands. And I just think what's missing here is a little inspiration. And so if you can like plug back into your intuition a little bit more, if you can do some things that are kind of firing your, up your intuition or really making you feel connected to your creativity, um, playing music, dancing, whatever it is, it's not productive, but it is. The Capricorn path here is going to be moving forward rather quickly when you finally plug in. Um, I think there's like a fear of a fear that the universe doesn't have your back and a really a resistance to magic. Like I don't, I can't believe in magic. I've seen too many things in my lifetime. I've seen too many things go off sideways, but take a chance. I really feel like this is saying to you, take a chance, believe in something that you can't see. And I was talking about this in the morning message where uh, it was Carl Jung who was asked if he believed in God. And he said, why do I need to believe? I know. And that's how I feel about you. It's sort of like, I know that you're ready to open up to a new experience in this reading. Like I can feel that there, it's just right, almost right in front of you. And yet there's still this resistance to it. There's this two of swords. It's like, I don't want to I don't want to feel, I don't want to uh, open myself up to something that may be a disappointment or that I may be a disappointment to somebody. I can't, so I'm going to stand still a little bit, or I don't want to, I don't want to step into this new change or this new chapter. I don't want to step into this new chapter. Ten of Cups, Hierophant, Emperor, and the Six of Pentacles. I almost feel, I almost feel like my darling, you are about to embark you are on the brink of a tremendous happiness and satisfaction, but it's different because it's almost, it's not that you're not in charge. It's that you're letting go and letting the universe, letting God kind of drive the ship for a while. And you're just, I feel like some of you guys, some of you Capricorns are Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, right? Or uh, North Node. Some of you are just like, you know what? Nothing works unless I push it unless I'm the one who's doing everything. I feel like this is the opposite. I feel like this is easy. Okay. Let the universe run with this. Okay. Ten of cups, Hierophant, Emperor, Six of Pentacles. There's an easy give and take. There's an easy back and forth. For some of you, this could be a brand new love, right? Like a long time. I've just been focused on me and my work, you know, me, my work and my cat, my animals, whatever it is. I'm just, I'm just there. I'm like not really interested in anything else. I've been working so hard for so many years of my life. And I just feel like you're ready to step into something that is going to be really magnificent. And it almost feels like there's part of you that goes, what if it's not? What if I get all jacked up for like, believe in the magic of the universe and yes, my partner's coming in and then nothing happens. It's like already we're in that place of, I don't trust the universe. I don't trust that I'm manifesting. I don't trust that what I want to come in is going to come in. So I don't want to be disappointed. So I'm just going to go back to things that I can control. This lesson is about teaching you to be in your own stability, being your own self-confidence, even if you're not in control. You know, I, there's a reason I said North Node here because we have the North Node in um, your companion Earth sign of Taurus and the South Node is in Scorpio. So just because you don't have North Node in Taurus, maybe you do, maybe you don't, it's still impacting you, especially since you're an Earth sign, okay? And so... I feel like we have had, and it's been in Taurus since um, January of 2022. What's been going on for you in January, in all this time, right? We've had like 14 months, 15 months of this. It's going to change into Aries and Libra this summer. And that is about relationship. So Taurus may feel pretty good to you that like you've consolidated your power, 
or you've um, amassed a lot of wealth or your business has really grown, but now what's being asked of you is, okay, turn your attention now to the love of your life coming in. The relationship, the next chapter of the relationship that's really gonna expand you, help you feel. I think there's a, a fear of feelings here, a fear of being out of control, a fear of not being in charge of this because the universe is, is in charge. There's a little fight back here. Knight of Swords, Five of Wands. I just feel like you're buttressing yourself. <laughs> I haven't used that word in a long time. You are kind of protecting yourself from disappointment. But what if it's not? What if it's magical? And I feel like the universe is trying to say like, you gotta meet me halfway. You've got to believe in magic or you've got to start believing in magic to allow this stuff to come in. You've got, if you're manifesting this, you've got to start really trusting your own intuition, trusting your own manifestation process. Got to start trusting it. King of Swords, Hanged Man, Empress. Look at that. And the Page of Cups. Um, this is definitely about, I only believe what I can see, something tangible. Um, and the Empress is saying, well, do you believe that there's a baby in here? Do you believe you can't see it? I'm just, I'm just big, but you can't really see it. You can see it on a monitor. You can see it through science, but you can't really experiencing it yet or experience it yet. You can't really see. And this is sort of like an, uh, um, an idea or a relationship that is in the birthing stage. It's like seven months along it's or eight months along about one month from now, there's the baby that's coming in. Some of this could actually be about a baby coming in about how it's going to change your life and pull you out of being in control because as any parent will tell you, isn't it so cute that they think, you know, that Capricorn, you think you're in charge. That's so adorable, right? Like <laughs> a baby's running the show. So particularly about the moment of birth, right? Nobody has any charge over that except for God, right? God and the baby, like that's it. So there's a sense of like, I don't want to, even if this is really happy and joyful and stuff, like I, if I feel out of control, that's not fun for me. It's not joyful. Okay. It's not joyful. It's not happy. July. Wow. We are right there, right? This is July is the moment, July 17th. So, um, July 17th is when the, the North node moves into Aries. And that's about independence and about seeking independence. The South node moves into Libra, which is about balance and relationships. So it's about the self, me versus we, um, the self, how can I, how can I be in relationship and not lose myself? Uh, this new chapter, maybe there's a sense of like, I'm really comfortable with where I am right now. I don't want to change July. Everything's changing. So I think this is fair warning. I, it's interesting that the, um, the ancestors are giving you such a lot of warning here. <laughs> okay. Two months warning, two months warning. So we are seven months long here, seven of cups. And this new beginning happens in July. So there's a reason why there's a reason why the universe is saying plug in now. Things are changing. It's time for you to really plug back in to um, believing in magic and believing in the universe has your back. It's going to be important in a couple months. Okay. So let's see where we go with this Capricorn. The link is in the description box. If this is your story, I'm seeing over here. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, Check out these videos.